आप सुन रहे हैं समाचार एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया का ऑडियो बुलेटिन यू आर लिस्निंग टू द नेशनल लेवल ऑडियो बुलेटिन फ्रॉम समाचार एजेंसी ऑफ इंडिया फ्रॉम प्रीति भोसले ऑन फ्राइडे 5 जून 2020 As of June 5, 2020, India has 2 lakh 26,770 confirmed cases of COVID-19, and recovered patients are 1 lakh 9,462, and the dead patients are the 6,348. Maharashtra has still the highest number of the COVID-19. There are the 77,793 recovered patient are 33,681, and the deaths due to the COVID-19 are 2,710. In the Tamil Nadu, the confirmed patient are 27,256, recovered patient are 40,902, and the dead patients are 202. In the Delhi, is confirmed patient are 2,000. 25000 and the recover patient are 9898 and that due to the covid 19 are 650 in the gujarat the 18584 and recover patient are 12607 and the dead due to the covid 19 1155 in the rajasthan is also the found the confirmed patient is 9862 recovered patient are 7104 and dead due to the covid 19 is 2013 in the uttar pradesh is also now increasing the number that is 9237 recovered patient are 5439 and death patients are 245 in the madhya pradesh also increasing the number the 8762 and recover patient are 5637 while the death patients are 377 Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said India is committed to expanded its relation with Australia in comprehensive and quick manner. In his opening remark at in India Australia virtual summit Mr Modi expressed happiness that the bilateral relations are being the upgraded to the comprehensive strategic partnership level. Prime Minister Modi said the role of comprehensive strategic partnership will be more important in this spread of the global pandemic he said the government has decided to view this crisis as an opportunity and a process comprehensive reform has been initiated in almost all shapes he said his government has taken the decision to the view this the covid 19 crisis as an opportunity he added this uh, that a process of comprehensive reforms has been the initiated in almost all area and it and its result will be the seen at all ground level of very soon The Prime Minister expressed the condolences on the behalf of people India to the COVID-19 affected people in Australia. He also expressed the gratitude for the way the Australian has taken care of the Indian community and the st- student during the pandemic. Union Environment and the Forest Minister Prakash Jawadekar today said the strictly action will be taken against those involved in the killing of pregnant elephant in Kerala. In a tweet Mr Jawadekar he has said that the center has been taken a very serious note of the killing of ele- elephant he said the government will not leave any stone unturned to the investigate properly and nab the culprits do cyclone nisarg has moved away from the western coast and mumbai thane region toward the south southern uh, northern parts of the maharashtra further the weekend and into the deep depression the remnants of the cyclone hits the region hard signs early morning the cyclone made the landfall last noon at uh, alibag in the raigad district about 95 km from the mumbai enter the western coast along with the mumbai the thani region pune nasing amda ahmednagar aurangabad district are the expressing the high speed wind with the thunderstorm and the rain since the early morning this led 
to the uprooting of the trees and electricity pole beside other damages even today chief minister uddhav thakre will be take the stock for the situation through the video conference this noon in madhya pradesh the impact of the cyclone nisarg is visible on the entire state intermediate the rains continue with the heavy winds since last night in the most districts the supreme court has asked delhi up and haryana government to come to out with the uniform policy for the movement within the ancia region the apex court was the hearing the petition seeking the inconvenience caused to the people as a result for the sealing of the borders by the interstate restrictions imposed in the national capital territory region ncr in the wake of the covid 19 the the court has favored a uniform policy for the for ncr movement he said one policy one path one portal was required he asked the respective state officially to evolve the common policy in the regard within a week and develop a portal for the smooth interstate movement in the ncr The center has told the Supreme Court that the March 29 direction asking the private establishment to the pay full wages to workers during the COVID-19 lockdown was a temporary measure for mitigate the the financial hardship of the employees and workers and especially the contractual and casual in a affidavit filed in the apex court. The government has said. that the direction have been revoked by the authority with the effect from may 18 the union cabinet has approved a historical amendment to the essential commodities act this is a visionary step toward the transformation of the agriculture arising the farmers income briefing the media after the cabinet meeting in the new delhi the information and the broadcasting minister prakash jawadekar said with a amendment the essential commodities act the commodities like the cereals pulses oil seed edibles oils onions and the potatoes have been the removed from list the essential commodities he said the decision will be ensure better the price for farmers produce and also remove fears of the private in investors of the excessive regulatory interferences prime minister narendra modi's government completed one year of its second term during this the one year government has taken the several step to provide the affordable and the quality health care to the people and the building the health and infrastructure in the country over the correspondent uh say takes a look for the some year majority initiative and decision taken during the last one year karnataka primary and secondary education department will seek the opinion of parents and the stakeholder on the reopening of a school in the state the minister has uh, minister for the primary education uh, Uh, Suresh Kumar has said that after the easing of the COVID-19 lockdown norms, government would be not not take any hasty decision regard the reopening of the school. He re uh, re uh, he informed the parents meeting will be held on all the school on June June 10th, 11th, and 12th to the college opinions. Indian cricketing legend. and anil kumble has urged people to take all precaution against the covid-19 and follow the government guidelines even though the lockdown is being eased he appealed the everyone to be wear masks maintain the hygiene and take all the prevent step to stop the spread of the infection World Health Organization Director General Tedros Adhanom said WHO will be re- will resume its trial of the hydroxy chloroquine of the potential use against the coronavirus after those the running running the study briefing stop giving the new patient over health concern speaking at 
an on online media briefing he said that who expert had advised to continuation of all trial including the hydro hydroxy chloroquine you were listening to the national level audio bulletin from samachar agency of india from preeti bhosle on friday uh, 5th june 2020 we will again take this bulletin on saturday 6th june 2020 if you like this bulletin then you must like it subscribe and share it we will again we will be present again till then goodbye कर सकते हैं इसे सब्सक्राइब नमस्कार